Hi everyone, I'm Shay Chester and I'm the National Community Educator for Canteen Australia. I've worked for Canteen since 2009 in many different roles, supporting young people, their families, schools and health professionals across Australia. I'm very passionate about working within the community to support more young people and families affected by cancer and illnesses. So my name is Claire Mallingray and I'm the Queensland State Manager here at Canteen. I lead a team of social workers, counsellors and educators who provide support to young people and parents who have had cancer crash into their worlds. I'm a qualified counsellor and mental health practitioner with over 15 years experience in the education and health sectors. We are here today to talk about the significant impact that cancer can have on the family and what health professionals can do to help, including being aware of referral pathways to the services and support that canteen provides. Canteen is a national charity that supports young people aged 12 to 25 and parents who have been impacted by cancer through providing practical and emotional support to provide experiences, whether they be with professionals or peers that promote resilience and emotional wellbeing. With the support of Metricon, our intention is to improve the community's understanding of cancer's impact and increase capacity to support families. We know that one in three adult cancer patients will have a child or children under the age of 26. Our evidence shows that young people dealing with a parent's cancer are three to six times more likely to experience high or very high levels of psychological distress than their peers. Because of these significantly high statistics, we are continuously reaching out to health professionals to assist us in identifying if their adult patients have children as these conversations and formalised referral pathways are often not embedded in standard practice. So as health professionals, what can you do? Simply start by asking your patients if they have children. Children may not be attending appointments with their parents, and particularly their offspring that are adults themselves, may have university or are working and become invisible within the health support system. It can be difficult at times to ask these questions due to fear of causing distress, However, today we will share some tips to assist you in supporting your patients. Find out their ages and whether they are accessing any support. Let them know about the support available from Canteen for both children and the parents. Ask if they have had an initial conversation about their diagnosis, treatment and prognosis. If it is early on in their cancer experience, they may need support in how to talk, their, talk to their children about their cancer. We know at Canteen through research that the wellbeing outcomes for young people are far better if there is transparency about the diagnosis and prognosis. Research shows that when parents cope better and communicate openly, their children are likely to experience less distress and anxiety. So what have young people told us that they want from their parents when a parent has cancer? From our experience and our research, we have found that young people want to talk openly about their parents' cancer. They want to know how to talk to their family about their feelings. Young people have said, I want to learn ways of coping with the added stress placed on my family. I need help dealing with feelings about the possibility that my mum or dad might die. I also need to be able to express how I'm feeling about my parents' cancer without worrying about upsetting people. Young people have also told us that they need to feel supported by their family and that their parents are being open with them. Even though some topics may be difficult for your patients to talk about with their children, if it's age appropriate, being honest and open with young people is the best way to help them cope. Young people want to be told the truth, even if it's difficult news for your patients to share and them to hear. In our work with young people over the decades, we have found that secrecy often makes things worse and adds to the stress. Reassure your patients that of course it's strange telling their children something that will make them distressed because as a parent, they are wired to protect them. However, being transparent does not mean they will harm them. In fact, by being open and having these conversations, they will help support their children's future mental health and well-being and foster better connections within their family. Share with your patients the key things they should talk to their children about, including the type of cancer they have, the treatment or treatments they will have and how long it will take, the sort of side effects they might experience, such as weight changes, tiredness, hair loss. Telling children about possible physical changes or side effects in advance helps them feel less worried down the track, 
If they're not prepared, they can mistake normal side effects as signs that their parents' cancer is getting worse. Help the patient think about what other ways cancer might impact them in their family life. For example, changes to work arrangements, change in routines, or extra responsibilities that the children may have to take on at home. Young people want to know that their parents will keep them informed and let them know about any changes. A very important key message for them is to let young people know that their parents' cancer has nothing to do with anything they did, said, or thought. Canteen can also support your patients who are parents. They can log into Canteen Connect for Parents, which is a platform for parents to support each other and get access to resources or chat to a counsellor. We have our Parenting Through Cancer resource, which provides practical advice and tips and can be downloaded for free. We can also provide you with printed copies to hand out to your patients. We also provide local in-person or over video counselling for parents, particularly around how to communicate with young people whilst parenting through cancer. When speaking with your patients, it might be helpful for you to be aware of the full suite of services that Canteen provides, not only for parents, but for young people too. At Canteen, we work with 12 to 25 year olds who are dealing with a parent's cancer, have or had cancer themselves, are dealing with a sibling's cancer, or are coping with the death of a parent or sibling. We know that adolescence is a critical developmental period and one in which independence and identity are key factors. Both neurologically and socially, the experience faced shape who they are and resonate into adult life. As mentioned before, our evidence shows that without support, young people dealing with a parent's cancer are three to six times more likely to experience high or very high levels of psychological distress than their peers. The Canteen Psychosocial Model provides a strong framework of stepped care and effective evidence-based intervention for all young people. And our research shows that after six months of support from Canteen, almost two thirds of young people affected by cancer report improvements in their mental health and overall well-being. As previously mentioned, all services at Canteen are free. We provide tailored individual support for young people, counselling both online and in person, access to overnight and one day programs, either therapeutic or social recreational programs, which have been developed to enable young people to make new friends, develop skills to cope with cancer and have much needed fun too. To find out more information about our services for young people, jump online to canteen.org.au or direct a young person to canteenconnect.org.au where young people can connect with others in a similar situation check out events around the country and chat to a counsellor seven days a week. There is further support that can be provided to you as health professionals. Please jump online to our dedicated webpage for resources for health professionals, where you can download a free copy of a guide to canteen for health professionals. You're also welcome to phone us on 1800 835 932 for support or contact us directly via email to organise an education session with your team. If you are working with a family and would like to organise further support for them, go to canteen.org.au forward slash refer and follow the prompts to refer a young person or parent to us. We will then get in touch with them within one to two business days. So the key messages we want to leave with you today is that by improving communication in the family around cancer, it reduces the level of unmet needs that young people experience. So if you can have those initial conversations with your patients, it will have an impact on the future well-being of their family. We know that working together collaboratively means that your patients and families get the best support. So please ask your families about whether they have children so we can both identify young people that need support and that they're not going through cancer alone. Thanks for listening today and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.